Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel. I have a very exciting palette to share with you guys and this is from Kat Von D. This is the box that it came in. Um, this is part of their 10 year anniversary collection. So they have lipstick and also they have those glimmer veil liquid lipsticks, those metallic liquid lipsticks and they have makeup brushes, they have like a um, makeup case, like a huge box what else they also have released their first ever metal crush highlighter the full size i think earlier they had um a metal crush highlighter trio like a palette but this is the first time they've come out with a full size highlighter and this is like a different like a brand new shade as well it's a color that we've not seen in the palette those the metal crush highlighter trio I wasn't very interested in the metal crush highlighter the full size one because I don't know it looked very it was pretty but I wasn't much drawn to it so I didn't pick it up but the palette initially again I wasn't that very enthusiastic about it because I saw very very low resolution pick um, it looked very dull and very ordinary I was wondering and thought to myself why would they release such a boring palette for their iconic 10th uh, year anniversary collection but later on I saw a really good swatch picture and, got, and I got interested so yeah I picked it up so this is a limited edition palette obviously it's part of their anniversary collection and this is um, exclusive to Sephora and you get 16 eyeshadows in total uh, I was happy guys because you'd see such a large palette I according to me anywhere between like a 15 to 20 pan eyeshadow palette is a huge palette brands release such huge palettes only during the holiday season at least that's just my observation um but i i mean it's it's nice to see like a huge palette and also during the holiday season the pricing is usually what 60 dollars and above uh, but this is $52 and you get 16 shades. I think the pricing is not that bad at all. And the amount of product you get in each pan is 1.7 grams of product. That's 0 0.06 ounce of product. I would consider that a full size amount quantity. Just for reference, Makeup Geek also gives you the same amount, 0 0.06 ounce of product in their full size single pans. Eyeshadows, um, MAC actually offers you a little bit less than that mac gives you 0 0.05 ounce of product a mitigate also gives you 0 0.05 ounce of product in their full size singles you get 0 0.06 just 0 0.1 0 0.01 ounce of product more not less more in, in here and also makeup geeks also gives you the same amount so like i said i would consider that 16 full size eyeshadows in one palette together and in the back i don't want to blind you guys you have like um this is not an accurate representation of what the colors look look like actually inside they look very vibrant of course it the colors look vibrant inside as well but this is like even more vibrant like not like not an accurate depiction of the what colors you'd see inside the palette um and of course it says here it's vegan so yeah uh Kat Von D Beauty transition into from cruelty free to cruelty free and vegan brand all together. And where is this made? Hang on. And it's made in the USA. And you do have like the list of ingredients also here. And so yeah, that is the box. Um, this is the actual palette. So this picture is actually um, drawn, hand drawn by Kat Von D exclusively for this collection. Um, and then it's also like I think this is probably her signature so it has this a lady with like rose and then you have like rose buds there's a bud here here and here and then like a fully bloomed rose so it's a beautiful black and white picture it actually it looks like someone has taken like a photograph of like a sketch a black and white sketch and when you like take prints of your old uh like you know those vintage cameras you get the prints right those rectangular prints and you could like opt for glossy finish or matte finish this actually to touch and feel it feels like those um you know those matte finish uh 
I mean, uh, photos, those rectangular photo prints that you get from the, I don't know, the Photoshop. Uh, I don't know, it feels that way, like a matte kind of finish. So it looks good. Um, and what else? And did I tell you guys you can like see the uh, signature? The back is really reflective. I don't want to blind you guys. It's very reflective and very, very yellow gold, almost green. And it has like the names and where it's made and the quantity and everything so it comes with like the full a good size mirror the mirror is exactly the size of the palette there's no like extra things or anything it's like exactly the size of the palette and this is the palette guys um so yeah let's get into swatches so 16 shades in total and you get do get like some beautiful colorful um colors as well Maybe I would just tell you guys my eyeshadow look right away because I remember it now, so I might forget it. Uh, wah, 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 wah. I might forget it after I start swatching. So let me just tell you guys my eyeshadow look. So in the outer corner and slightly in the crease, I have this color, this very dirty uh, teal. It's really dark. It's like a really dark color. And then also in the lower lash line, I smudge the same color. And then on the eyelids, in the inner and outer corner, I have this purple. This purple inner and outer corner. And in the center of the lid, I have, where is this? Oh yeah, I have this color. This is a duochrome. It looks almost peachy pink, right? But in the pan, it looks very peachy. So I just applied that in the center of the lid. And then in the inner corner and just down here in the inner corner, I have this beautiful, stunning green, guys. So beautiful. This green and in the actual inner tear dark, do you guys see? I just have the gold. And as a transition shade, I actually use this color. Maybe you guys can see it. Slight um, like um, sorbet tangerine shade maybe here. So that is my transition shade. This is the color. So that is my look overall. Let's get to the swatches. Let's swatch the top row, which is this. Uh, this is a brown color, which is actually, I'm just reading this like at the, from at the back of the box. The brown is actually Adele. It's a matte color. I'm sorry this actually swatches well I didn't like properly take some product oh I'm so sorry about that mini earthquake so that is a very rich dark brown matte color and that is Adele and then we have this brick red color the mattes actually feel so smooth and they're not powdery at all guys so that is a brick color which is malice again a matte color this actually swatches well and uh, blends well in everything but it's not as intense as um, the swatch here on the eyes when you like really blend it out it looks very muted on the eyes when you blend it out but when you pack it on the lids as an uh, say an eyelid shade it looks good just as this but when you uh, actually use it in the crease when you blend it out and when you share it out it, it looks really muted so this is the shade I have as a transition shade do you see how I was like going back and forth but there's like no fallout in the actual palette like you don't see any residue at all the, the uh, shadows are actually not powdery at all so that is called Ashley that is Ashley it's it's it has good pigment even on my skin tone shows up really well as you can see when you build it up so that is Ashley and then next we have Gina Gina is like a very um, light mustard yellow shade uh, don't want the eyeshadow palette to fall down. Hang on. Let's just do one more. So that is Gina. Yeah, that is Gina. Gina is that mustard yellow shade. 
so and then we have the gold shade which is hang on let me just keep this down this is much better gold is so pigmented just one swipe with a dry eyeshadow brush will give you like full pigmentation and with finger of course you as you can see and my arm is not moisturized it's not primed with any kind of eyeshadow primer all the swatches is done on bare dry skin so so that is egypt the the gold is egypt as you can see you can see the chunky glitter right it's not like evenly distributed it's like here and there like randomly uh, present and then we have what's the other one this is Sylvia. Sylvia is like a cream matte shade. That is Sylvia. And then we have Lala and Le Leifar. Lala is this beautiful, um, you know, this kind of moss green. Not moss green exactly. Um, it's army green most army greens kind of look very dirty on my skin tone but this looks like an army green actually even on my skin tone so that is layer far and hang on let me just give you guys a good swatch of the lala shade so that is lala and that is layer far so that is a top row those are the eight shades and as you can see they're quite pigmented guys they're not bad at all they have really good eyeshadows and then uh, second row is there's this white shade white matte shade which is Melanie let's just remove this watch Melanie is a matte shade and then we have Alexandra Alexandra is this duochrome. This is the shade I have in the center of the eyelids. Um, and again, it has that chunky glitter, like randomly. It's not throughout. It's not evenly present. It's like a duochrome. Uh, and that's Alexandra. This Melanie and Alexandra. And then we have Nancy which is like a very um i don't know it's like a muted brown plum color these colors would just blend into my skin tone like these are like the perfect transition shades you wouldn't even know that it's present do you see it's like almost is blending into my skin so that is this brown plum color is called Nancy. So that is Nancy. And then this purple color, which is right next to that, is called Catherine. Wait, is that Catherine Square? Because do you see that square? Catherine Square? I don't know. Maybe she knows two Catherines, but she wanted to name both of them so it's called Catherine Square Catherine part 2 so that is that beautiful um, purple shade that is a color I have in the inner and outer corner of the eyelids um, this again uh, of oh, forgot to tell you guys about the this particular metallic this is fully completely pigmented just one swipe with a dry eyeshadow brush you can get full pigmentation this would require two um, layers of uh, the eyeshadow with a dry brush that is with your fingers you can just get full pigmentation full-on opacity maybe I think with a wet brush you'd be able to get a full-on full opacity as well but if you uh, choose to use a dry eyeshadow brush two layers should do the trick on my skin tone at least so it's a beautiful shade to be honest it's not too muted at the same time, it's not too vibrant. It's, it has that pop of color which also pops on my skin tone. So yeah, that is Catherine Power 2. And then we have Kelly. Kelly is this teal color. 
which again I think um, it is that max blue brown kind of a duochrome but uh, it's not that duochrome it's just more of a like a dark teal kind of an eyeshadow again this is also quite pigmented with a dry brush just say two layers should do the trick with your finger as you saw just one full layer was uh, was good enough so that is uh, Kelly and then we have Sarah Sarah is not exactly a color that really compliments me I don't know how I would actually use this color because it's like just pure ash color it's just the color of ash um, I don't know what to do with that really um, it's it, I think if it had been a little bit darker it would have been nice I don't know I'm not able to appreciate this color at all it's like pure it's a true ash color and that's called Sarah and then we have Carolyn which is the color I said I have in the outer corner and in the lash line on both eyes that is actually quite a dark color I know it looks like a dark teal like a very dirty dark teal it just looks uh, like a very forest green on on the skin and when you really pack it on it looks almost black if you ask me um, I don't know I'm, I'm not able to see the teal color come through distinctly but you know I guess it's probably like dirty like grungy colors like this don't really appear true to color at least on my skin tone they kind of look different so that is actually really pigmented it's like drenched in pigment this particular color and finally so that is Carolyn and then finally we have Shad that is the blue color it's really big pigmented as well Wow <laughs> it's a very pigmented color and it also blends beautifully so those are the 16 shades guys all together so we have a uh, one two three four five five um metallics um out of the five i think um hang on let me show it to you in the palette out of the five this feels the green layer far feels more like her metal crush eyeshadow formula meaning it's not very foiled but it's drenched in pigment whereas the others the purple and then the teal the gold and the pink to peach color so these three have this chunky glitter i think she's calling that the glimmer um formula i think she's calling that the glimmer eyeshadow formula so they have chunky glitter and they are slightly tiniest bit on the sheer side but if you plan to use a dry eyeshadow brush without any kind of moisture or anything if you you could you you could just layer it twice and it gives full opacity if you use your your finger it gives it becomes completely opaque just with one layer and obviously if you wet your brush also that would be the case so um formula wise as i said the metallics out of the four four right hang on let me check one two three four five oh sorry out of the five metallics one is like drenched with pigment and completely opaque um the others are all and this one doesn't have any kind of chunky glitter the other metallics have definitely chunky glitter it's not like a sheer pressed glitter formula definitely as you can see the gold was so pigmented the peachy pink was pigmented these two also I would say two layers with a dry brush would like give you complete opacity now the mattes were really really good guys mattes were fantastic if you ask me this this is like a massive improvement from the saint and sinner palette that i used uh last year it's like fent this palette is really good the mattes now um these two and then the brown these three i would say are like drenched in pigmentation they are really richly pigmented but they also blend beautifully on the eyes they honestly as you apply them on the eyes they just blend right away you don't have to 
they don't leave behind any harsh lines for you to like sit there and blend over and over again nothing of that sort as you apply them they just blend now um the other mats besides the the dark ones the really dark rich ones like the dark brown and the teal and the blue the others are again they blend beautifully without any problems without any exceptions no all the mats are really beautifully really beautifully really blend beautifully but um, the others are as you can see slightly mid-toned like medium tone kind of um, depth to the pigmentation and some are like on the lighter side which are like perfect for for, for transition uh, shades for my skin tone so these medium tone and like transition shades are slightly on the sheerer side as you can see when I swatched I like layered like three times to get this intense pigmentation but once you build it up do you see it doesn't like move or doesn't leave do you see that I'm just rubbing it and as I said earlier in the beginning of the video my my arm is not moisturized there's no primer eyeshadow primer or any sort or anything that is slightly tacky or sticky so that the pigments would just adhere well to my skin there's nothing of that sort but even without that do you see that it like stays put so but you would have to build it up a little bit for this intense pigmentation but when you build it up it does stay put it does not fade i'm actually very impressed with the staying power of these products on my skin tone this this one is such a like a mid-tone kind of a peachy color but i can still see that it's still present i'm very impressed with the staying power because colors like these would just disappear after say four to five hours and i think it's been six hours now since i applied makeup this look and i'm very happy with how it looks and of course i'm in love with this green color guys i'm just head over heels with it it's so so beautiful so dramatic um this I, I think this is on the muted side but uh, I have to say I like it I just applied two layers with a dry brush and I got full opacity and it's still popping you know it doesn't look faded away or anything I really like the way the makeup turned out I'm actually happy with the matte formula I was very displeased with the matte formula and the Saint and Sinner palette I'm happy with the mattes I'm actually happy with the shimmers all in all this is a good palette I would say pick it up if you're interested in the color selection because you do get a really good value for money for $52 you get 16 shades that's a big palette guys I know it's, it's, it's very compact but you get a lot of product 16 full sh full size eyeshadows and needless to say the quality is very good I was so pleasantly surprised with how good the mattes blended they're really good and uh, the metallics I would have loved if all the metallics had this metal crush formula but uh, you know but still they are good uh, not not I mean uh, I would not consider them like a mediocre or an average quality eyeshadow palette this is a good palette I think this is a very good palette so if you're interested definitely pick it up uh, what else I think that's it guys that's all I wanted to tell you guys and I want to share my opinion and swatches and if uh, my recommendation is yeah pick it up why not uh, that's it you guys hope you guys found this video useful um, I will see you guys very soon next time bye bye